Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am the crocheting, blogging, maker of all things mompreneur here at A Crafty Concept. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I attach faux fur palms to my crocheted beanies. Um, this one is actually Tunisian crochet, so it, it looks very knitted, but it is not. It is still crochet. Uh, but the way I attach my palms, they are super sturdy. It's very easy to do. Um, I've been doing this on all of my beanies for the past two years, and I've never had any complaints or any issues. And I just wanted to share with you guys my technique so you could use them to attach to your crochet or knitted beanies. Let's go see what you need. There's lots of different methods, but this is how I do it, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I have my hat, scrap yarn, my pom-pom, some scissors, and then a tapestry needle here. Um, the pointy ones work better. This is a dull one. I lost my pointy one. Um, this works fine. It's just the pointy ones work better. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut two strips of your scrap yarn. It's better to go longer than it is shorter. That way you just give yourself plenty of yarn. They don't have to be the same size, but sometimes I'm a little finicky. Okay, and then you can set that aside. Okay, so take your palm and find the center where it's all like closed. So palms are made by cutting a circle and then like squinching it closed. So find the spot where it's closed and these ones have a little elastic. Um, I just ignore those. I leave them there just in case it has something to do with the, the closing but I just ignore them. And you're going to want to fluff it out. Just give it a good shake. And then find the spot of your palm that you think looks the prettiest that you want to be. It's like that's a, that's a flatter side so I'm going to Move that to the back and I'll make this the front so it's going to go on the hat like this. So lay it down knowing that this is your front and we're going to do north, east, south, west. Thread your scrap yarn. Okay, so we're going to go in from south to north in the fabric under the clinch spot and then back out the fabric. And it's Takes a little bit of elbow grease, especially with a dull tapestry needle. Just make sure you're under the fabric and not just under a whole bunch of hair. You can check this by like pulling up, up and out on your needle. Okay, so finish pulling that through. And then just lay your north and south strips like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing this way. into the fabric, under the clinch, out of the fabric. Okay, you guys can see that. Okay, so now we have my northeast southwest little strings and that's how we know the order to put them into the top of the beanie. So set your tapestry needle aside and now I'm going to use a crochet hook. You could use a paper clip or anything that you can grab to pull your yarn through the beanie. So if we're looking at the top of our beanie, we've got north, south, east, and west. So that's how we're going to pull the strings through the top of the beanie. I'm going to take my hook and poke it up through the beanie out where I want the north string to go. I'm going to grab my north string yarn, wrap it around my hook and pull it through. And then I'm going to poke my hook out where the west string will go, grab my yarn and pull it through. Take my hook straight back to the south. Grab my yarn and pull it through to the center of the beanie. Sometimes they get stuck, so you have to grab it with your fingers to get it to go through all the way. And last, I'm going to poke my hook through the east spot on the hat and pull through my east yarn. 
Now we're gonna go inside our beanie here and pull up on all four strings, nice and tight. So we know our beanie is placed on, on the top of the, the hat, when the palm is placed on top of the hat. Okay, and now we're going to secure them by just tying them really well and then sewing in our ends just like we would on any project. So to tie it, I loop, like you're gonna tie a shoe, but do that twice, not just once, and that makes your, like that stay put instead of coming back up on you, so it holds it down. And then one more time for the double knot. And these two, so we're gonna go under, under two times. Pull it tight, and one more time, pull it tight. And then I'm going to cut these so where they're the same size, it's just easier for me to sew them in with my tapestry needle. It's faster, I can do two at a time. Take your tapestry needle again. And I'm just gonna sew these under the stitches. So they're hidden in there. Sorry, my hands are shaking. I just worked out and I have 15 minutes before my daughter's screen time is up. and then snip that off and you are good to go. And that puppy is on there. Not too wobbly, I mean it's wobbly enough because it's a pom-pom, but where you go under the center, you give yourself a wider um, base instead of just going like, shoop, and then really tight, then it's really wobbly. So where you do the four instead of just two, it also makes it more secure to the hat so it's not as wobbly. Easy peasy. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see other crochet and crafty related tutorials and have a great day. Bye.